our uh, voice actors now have about 10 years of acting experience coming into it. So if you really want to do it, I suggest you um, get as much acting. If you're in school right now, you can take theater. Uh, choir is also good because it stretches your voice and uh, makes you very flexible. Um, you could also take, go to audition for community theater or whatever. Get on stage, you know, because that's going to build up your confidence and give you a sense of timing that you wouldn't have otherwise. Uh, if you want to be a cartoonist, um, the best advice I ever heard for that was from one of my favorite cartoonists named Dave Sim, and he told me that all of us cartoonists have 200 horrible pages in our system. Get them out of your system as quick as possible. That was my walk cycle. You have two animated <laughs> students right here. So that was my walk cycle found. Our final project. And it's true, though. I mean, a lot of people, they, they get afraid of that blank page, you know, and so they don't do anything. Or they're afraid they're going to mess up or whatever. They just keep reworking the same page over and over again. At just this point, it. you just draw. Yeah. F finish the page. Huh? Yep. 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 At this point, if, if you just need to draw and draw. And, you know, once you've drawn ten pages, you can put it in a mini-comic and sell it at conventions or whatever, but, uh, which is a good way. I mean, that's what I started doing. I did a book called The, uh, the Sex Gophers from Hell. Well, that does not... Yeah. It was about a rock band. It wasn't, oh it wasn't porn. It wasn't porn starring gophers. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> did that go over well? It was about a rock band well? called The Sex Gophers. Did that mm -hmm. go over well? Uh, yeah, it went over pretty good. Uh, I mean, it helped me, uh, first of all, learn, and I, I did um, three ten-page mini-comics, and uh, then I did a 20-page uh, book on it, but I never printed it. But by then, I'd drawn 50 pages, you know, and the next ten pages I drew were a short story called The Atomic Punk, and it got it published at Antarctic Press. Heard of that one. Oh. And so... It's like, uh, you know, you'll get published probably before you reach 200 pages, but you'll still think it's crap, you know. You do the story writing for your comics and stuff, too? Mm -hmm. It's all you. Well, uh, I had a partner when I started out. Uh, he actually created the Sex Gophers, and uh, mm -hmm. it was just drawn really badly, but I thought it was really funny. So I uh, drew a cover for him, and he said, oh, dude, you need to draw the book. Well, once I got in there, I started writing it, too. And so uh, when I did We Shadows for Tokyo Pop, uh, that was all written and drawn by me. Cool. Thumbs up. <laughs> and I also did a book, a series called ElfQuest. Uh, you guys may be too young to remember ElfQuest. It's been around for 30 years. And about 10 years ago, uh, the creator of the series hired me to uh, to draw uh, two 58-page stories for it. And I also worked as her apprentice in her studio for a year. It was a great learning experience. Cool. How did you make the transition from voice acting or com whichever came first, comics, to the other? I don't know. I've always been interested in the arts, no matter what form they were. I mean, I was in band and choir and drama, and I was on the creative writing staff all in high school. And so, to me, if it's if it's artistic, I want to have my hand in it. And, and like a lot of the uh, voice actors at Funimation, as a matter of fact, I don't know any who, who don't, are multi-talented. You know, most of them are, have a band or they're um, uh, musically inclined somehow. Uh, or their artist or whatever. Um, so there's just a lot of crossover, and, and not a lot of people get to succeed in both those areas. But I spent a good 10 years of my life learning how to draw comics, you know, just foregoing a, any kind of life whatsoever. I would go to work, waiting tables, I'd come home and draw. And so that investment allowed me to actually get published. And then, of course, I'd always acted. And when I got into... Uh, I was doing a lot of theater when Funimation moved to Dallas 12 years ago and had open auditions for Dragon Ball Z and landed the part of Krillin. But by then, I'd already been published 12 times. Yeah. So it wasn't really like trying to make a transition from one to the other. It's just I did both. And I was just into both. And, um, yeah, I, was, I didn't have any plans of being a professional actor. I did some semi-professional theater work, but, you know, not enough to make a living off of. But then when I got into voice acting, suddenly I found out I can actually make money off of this. Did you voice him through the, the whole series that came out, or just a part of the episodes? Uh, most of it. Uh, ever since the last 12 years, it's been me. All right. The very first season was recorded by uh, Ocean Group in uh, Canada. And then Funimation moved to Dallas, and so they had to recast the show. And originally, we had to sound like the uh, original cast. And I got cast in it because I could imitate Terry Clausen's Krillin, 
which didn't sound anything like the Krillin you know today. It was like a, hey, you guys, wait up! I remember in the, the Namek saga where I thought the voice changed over yeah. to a different one with that. That was it, yeah. And then also at, at that time, we were try- I was trying to sound like him, and then the director said, you know, that sounds just like Terry Clausen, but I hate that voice. Can you do something else? I love directors. Yeah, and I said, well, what, what do you have in mind? And he goes, well, you know, Krillin is, you know, he's a midget, but he's the world's strongest human being, you know? He needs to sound like tough. I said, tough midget. I said, what about, like, uh, Popeye on Helium? He's like, huh. what do you have in mind? I mean, uh, something like this. You know, come on, guys, let's go! He went, yeah, yeah, let's go in that direction. So that's how that came about.